Hi, this is Dawn from Pixology Digital Solutions again, and I'm, today I'm going to talk to you about how to store your files, your photo files, or just your photos, period. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about are external hard drives. These are excellent for putting a lot of data in a small place. It's portable. You can use them to put your videos, if you have family videos that you want to keep, but you can put them on here. This is a great way to store a lot of data. One of the things that, ha it's somewhat problematic, they're getting better, but they have about a maximum of about a five-year lifespan. So what you want to do is you want to put a date on it when you put your photos on here and then replace it after the five years. Even if it's working good, you want to do it because it's better to be safe than sorry. Another one is your computer. You can use your computer hard drive as another backup for your photos. Um, it, they la the hard drives and computers usually last a little bit longer than five years, but I'm guessing it's probably pretty similar to the external hard drive. There are smaller ones that you can keep part of your collection on. Um, this is an SD card. These are awesome. You can put them into your cameras many times, and you can put them into your computer, and you can move your photos back and forth quite easily. These have about a 10-year lifespan. This is a thumb drive or a flash drive, whatever you want to call them, but they have a, a USB, they go into a USB port, and these have about a 10-year lifespan too, and you can get them in varying different sizes as you can with the SD card. The other one that I want to talk briefly about is the cloud. Um, many people have their phones auto-syncing to the cloud and their computers auto-syncing to the cloud so they can get their photos all in one place on the cloud, which is terrific. You want to be very careful about which cloud service you use because the ones that are free, they're using your information. You are the product, so they're using your information to sell it. And if you don't want that, you should look for something else. There's other ones where you pay for them, but if you stop paying, your photos will disappear. That's not a very secure place to put them either, unless you make sure you're paying constantly. Um, the last one that I want to talk about are printed photos. Printed photos have positives and negatives about them. These are probably 100 years old, so obviously these have a very long lifespan. Um, the negative thing about printed photos is that they are susceptible to things like fires or floods or just bad conditions. So the, the way that fo printed photos maintain their the pictures on them is by really good keeping really good humidity and heat. You want to make sure that the heat is low and the humidity is low so that your photos are in a safe, happy place. Basements and attics are not good places for photos. Um, and you should also have your printed photos backed up on one of these other places just in case of a catastrophe. And that's about all I have to say today about your printed, your, your printed and your digital photos on how to store them. If you have any questions, please contact me. I will be happy to explain this any more or more thoroughly, however you wish. Um, anything else you want to know? And I, We love you at Pixology Digital Solutions, and if you have anything that you want to talk to us about, please contact us.